everyone in this video we will solve this math olympiad question x plus 6 factorial over x plus 2 factorial is equal to 1680 so how to solve this question it is an interesting math here is x plus 6 factorial so i can say easily x plus 6 factorial it will be x plus 6 times x plus 5 times x plus 4 times x plus 3 times x plus 2 factorial yes and in this case i can see easily here is x plus 2 factorial so this divide and here is x plus 2 factorial is equal to 1 6 8 0 yes now at this moment i can see easily this this cancel and we'll find out here is x plus 6 times x plus 5 times x plus 4 times x plus 3 is equal to 1 6 8 0 yes now in this case i can see easily here is x plus 6 it will be x plus 6 times and here is x plus 3 x plus 3 and here is x plus 5 times and here is x plus 4 is equal to 1 6 8 0 yes now this time this it will be x times x x squared plus x times 3 it will be 3x plus x times 6 it will be 6x plus 3 times 6 it will be 18 bracket and here is x times x it will be x squared plus x times 4 it will be 4x plus 5 times x it will be 5x plus and 4 times 5 it will be 20 is equal to 1 6 8 0 yes now at this moment i can say it will be x square plus 9x plus 18 bracket and here is x square 4x plus 5x it will be 9x and plus 20 is equal to 1680 yes now at this moment I can say it will be x square plus 9x plus 19 minus 1 yes 19 minus 1 it will be 18 and here is x square plus 9x plus 19 plus 1 it will be 20 is equal to 1680 yes now at this moment let let x square plus 9x plus 19 it will be u so in this case i can say this is u minus 1 times this is u plus 1 is equal to 1 6 8 0 yes now we know that it will be a plus b a minus b it will be a square minus b squared according to this rules i can say easily it will be u square minus 1 is equal to 1 6 8 0 yes now at this moment i can say easily uh, here is u square and if i subtract both side if i add both side 1 so it will be 1 6 8 1 yes now if i use both side square root and we are find out here is u is equal to plus minus 41 yes plus minus 41 it will be square root 16 into 1 okay now at this moment we know that u is equal to x square plus 9x plus 19 so according to this case i can say as little be x square plus 9x plus 19 is equal to plus minus 41 so we are find out here is two case uh, our first case is x square plus 9x plus 19 and first of all we are take positive value plus 41 is equal to uh, positive my negative value so if i move on this value in this side it will be positive 41 is equal to zero and again if i take the positive value in this case so it will be x square plus 9x plus 19 so positive value when i move on this will in this side it will be negative so it will be 41 is equal to 0 
yes so we we'll find out hey, here is x square plus 9x plus 60 is equal to 0 and we will find out is x square plus 9x and 41 minus 19 it will be minus 22 yes is equal to 0 now at this moment uh, we'll find out uh, the real part or imaginary part. So we know that delta is equal to b square minus 4ac. So here is b is 9. So a 9 square it will be 21 minus 4 times a is 1 and c is 60. So I can see that 81 minus 4 times 0 it will be 0. 4 times 60 it will be 240. So this is our negative value, so it is less than zero. So we are not find out the real solution in this case. So I can say really no real solution. Yes, but in this case, look here is x square plus nine x minus twenty two is equal to zero. So I can say really here is delta is equal to b square minus four ac. So b squared will be eighty one minus 4 a is 1 and c is minus 22 so i can say that 81 plus minus minus it will be plus 4 times 8 it will be 8 so i can say that 9 8 plus 8 is it will be 169 so it is greater than 0 so we'll find out here is the real solution okay let's start uh, our question here is uh, x square look x square plus 9x minus 22 is equal to 0 yes so if I do middle factor in this quadratic equation so I can say that it will be x square plus 11x minus twice x minus 22 is equal to 0 I do middle factor in this case so we'll find out here is x is common so it will be x plus 11 and minus 2 is common it will be x plus 11 is equal to 0 so I can see really here is x plus 11 is again common so we are find out here is x minus 2 is equal to 0 so we are find out here is two case uh, our first case is x plus 11 is equal to 0 and now the other case x minus 2 is equal to 0 so in this case I can see easily here is uh, x is equal to minus 11 and positive 2 this is our final answer so let's check out uh, our question is the x plus 6 factorial over x plus 2 factorial but we'll find out in this case x is equal to minus 11 and positive 2 but remember that I can say easily it is always greater than or equal 0 yes so if you take here is minus 11 so minus 11 minus 11 so it is a minus something but you know that it is always greater than or equal 0 so it is not possible so x is equal to minus 11 it is not possible yes but if you think x is equal to 2 so i can say really uh, x plus 6 factorial over x plus 2 factorial yes so x plus 6 factorial so x is 2 yes x is 2 so i can say really it will be 8 factorial over 4 factorial so 8 factorial i can say really it will be 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial over here is 4 factorial so this this cancel we are find out uh, 8 times 5 it will be 56 times 4 times it will be 30 so 30 times 56 it will be 1680 so i can see really left hand side and right hand side is equal yes so our answer is x is equal to positive 2 thank you all if you enjoyed this video please subscribe my channel for other interesting video goodbye take care